hot or not, augmented reality in, in modern work. I mean, so wait, wait a second. Didn't augmented reality die when Meta, like, oh, no, no, Apple brought theirs out, and, and now <laughs> we're talking about it all again? No, we're back to it. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny. I I just thought this was something that my kids put on their head, and I've got something knocking at the door. Um, yeah. I just thought this was something my kids put on their head to, like, play a video game. But, and, you know, right. we have we have an analyst who specializes in this, Anshul Sag, and he is, like, this is his thing, and he is great at this, and he helped to, we, we wrote a Forbes article together on this. But... In, and that's definitely his thing when it comes to all of the other use cases. But I thought it was interesting that a use case where it's actually helping to train people to, um, you know, onboard for um, work situations, to actually put them into a, a virtual situation where, like, say, construction or a hospital or a pick and pack situation where rather than put them in that actual environment, they put on their the glasses or it, even an overlay on a smartphone or a tablet. And it's a safer environment and a less expensive environment for them to learn the environment that they're gonna be in. That picture that you just scrolled by, that's a really interesting use case from Lenovo where these glasses, somebody can put them on and they can create this environment where they have these multiple screens that only they can see. So imagine you're a banker or a trader and you need all of the screens where you need privacy, but you are working remotely and or you're you know at home and you don't have the room for all of these screens. You can see that. I personally don't want to wear something like that. So I could see using it for a, a training or something like that, but I, I think it's gaining a lot of popularity. I see a lot of device makers working on it. Um, actually, when I was in Oslo, Cisco was working on one that they have in beta, um, and people are using it. So I, I'm going to give it a. I'm not going to give it a hot. I'm going to give it a warm. I think younger people. I, I'm too old for this. Looking like <laughs> a, a true analyst, you know. <laughs> like I got playing both sides. By the way, I think that's smart, very smart, right? Uh, we talked about tablet PCs for about 25 years until they actually became a reality with yeah. uh, with, with the iPad. Uh, machine learning original algorithms uh, were back from the 1960s. And we've been talking about quantum computing since the 1950s. So I actually don't take it, think it's going to take 30 years for this to, uh, to move forward, um, even mainstream. Uh, but I do think that the uh, the size of the technology needs to be like a normal pair of, of glasses. Apple really leaned into the multiple screen uh, information worker um, use case during its its event, which again nothing new. Um, but but I think pulling it off. And the way that they're pulling it off, I mean, the price is three thousand dollars. You get two hours battery life. Yeah. Uh, and we'll, you know, we're 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 gonna see. And I've seen some really. I think you you rattled some of them off. You know, McDonald's has been using uh, this as a test case for its uh, fryers and cooking uh, for a while. Uh, construction equipment. Uh, I think Cat uh, uses this. Caterpillar uh, uses this mm -hmm. to to better uh, train. Uh, people, I think the hard part is scaling this to something dramatically different. I think the UI is a challenge. We're going to see if Apple fix that. I haven't used theirs yet, but you know, you don't use controllers; you use your fingers. Which, yeah. by the way, Hololens uh, did that as well, but it just didn't do it uh, very well. So I can't wait. I mean, you're right; it is a warm spot on. Yep. It's not dead, and it's it's not hot, and it's not not. It's kind of in 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 between.